Anjay monkey boy. Potomac Railroad. Kinney was a busy Confederate supply base during the Civil War. The Jackson Shrine is the cottage to your left. Once it was the office of Thomas Coleman Chandler's plantation, Fairfield. Today, it is the only structure remaining. In the painting, you see Fairfield as it was when the Chandlers lived here. The picture, however, does not represent a typical plantation scene. It depicts a unique and momentous occasion. The arrival of the ambulance carrying General T.J. Stonewall Jackson from the distant field hospital near Chancellorsville, where his left arm was amputated. He had been wounded by the mistaken fire of his own men at 9 p.m. May 7, 1863. It is now late on the day of May 4th. Jackson had come to Fairfield to recuperate. The Chandlers offered their gift to Ellen. But Dr. Hunter McGuire, medical director of Jackson's Corps, preferred the privacy of the office. Jackson remembered... At the time, the other two are the folded blanket at the end of the bed, and the third one you can hear when I stop talking. The clock took me over the mantelpiece was brought in while he was here. All the other furnishings in the room are period antiques. Unfortunately for Stonewall Jackson, they couldn't get him to Richmond right away because uh, Union Cavalry had torn up the tracks south of here in a raid. And by the time the tracks were repaired, the pneumonia that eventually took his life had set in and he was too weak to be moved after that. However, for the first two days of his stay here, they had no idea that he had any type of respiratory problem. They were more concerned with preventing infection from the site of his amputation wound. And so uh, Dr. Hunter McGuire, his personal surgeon and physician, was so encouraged by Jackson's progress on May 6th, he decided it was time for he himself to get some rest. So McGuire laid down on the couch, similar to the one in the room today, and went to sleep. About one o'clock the next morning, Jackson woke up sick to his stomach in severe pain and having trouble breathing. Jim, his servant, had stayed up with him and wanted to wake the doctor, but Jackson told him not to. But he did order Jim to get a cold, wet compress to put on his chest to relieve the pain. So Jim did that, but then the next morning when the doctor woke up, or woke up his patient, who he thought was recovering, was now deathly ill. So he re-examined him, and that's when he diagnosed him with pneumonia. Have any of you ever had pneumonia before? No. <laughs> well, even today, it's nothing to be taken lightly, but in Yeah. Well, and 40 yeah. Confederates on horseback. Yeah. 